Thank you. So I think one of the questions I'd like to ask is, I mean, how, how do you go about identifying data partners to work with that, that fit within your overall strategy? Yeah, so there's a number of data partners. We always have a never-ending list for Newstar, as, as Michael knows. Um, what we're trying to do at Warner Brothers is to fill in our blind spots. So in our customer journey, like I was just saying, we have exhibitors, we have retailers, we have ad partners. So anything that kind of gives us, allows us to round out this customer journey, or we can see that you bought a DVD, that you bought a movie online, um, that you went to the theater. And that might not be the obvious partner. It might not be an exhibitor. It could be a geolocation partner. It could be an ACR partner. So we're always pursuing different partners that helps us see our entire customer journey. Okay, thank you. Um, another thing we, we've all talked about, the proliferation of devices. I think I, I, in my household I've got at least 10, if not 20. Um, and the, the challenge with tracking people over different channels and technologies do you see this gap widening and the problem getting bigger for us? Uh, so I, I don't know if I'd say the gap is getting bigger. I think it is becoming more challenging, and it's the reason why Newstar is really focused on uh, trying to address this problem. Um, you've got the challenge of the number of devices proliferating, um, so the number of consumers who have home computers and laptops and mobile devices, but also the types of devices are changing as well. So now you have um, uh, you know, in-home assistants like Alexa, you have set-top boxes that can be addressable, cars are becoming addressable, and so the types of devices to which we want to attach identity is, is increasing. Um, you also have uh, increasing velocity in the identity itself. So one of the challenges that we solve for our clients is the fact that people change email addresses, and they change phone numbers, and they change names. Um, and so the, the velocity of the underlying consumer identity data is also a challenge that we're addressing. Okay. And then what we've seen in the news recently with, uh, say, the likes of Facebook, I mean, we may see the walled gardens, maybe add a few bricks to the top of their walls. What do you think are uh, the implications to us in, in the space of identity and data management? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's certainly, you know, Mark has had a, a challenging week. Um, I, I think um, for Newstar, um, one of the, the, um, the services that we provide for the industry is as a neutral provider of uh, measurement analytics services, we're in a position to help bridge the gap between the data sets that some of these wall gardens have access to um, and the need for marketers to get access to some of that data for analytic purposes. Um, and so we're partnering with many of these wall gardens to, to, um, to provision an environment in which um, a trusted neutral analy analytics environment can be provisioned uh, that enables uh, marketers to understand the effectiveness of the marketing without sacrificing consumer privacy. Okay, thank you. Thanks, David. Thank you. Thank you. So I think just to, to sum up, we're seeing um, an environment at the moment where we've got a whole new set of addressable channels and devices coming along that we've got to deal with. But there's always a gap, in, particularly in the area of trying to string intelligently all these different channels and identities together um, and have a common, consistent way of intelligently personalizing the experience. So I'd like to thank you, everyone, for, for participating in that.